All right, we're at the end of week two of being sidelined. Hopefully this is the end of it. Today should be the last day. The wing tip is being uh, expertly put back together right now. Reassembled. Reassembled by this guy who actually does some work sometimes. While I was not here, put the cylinder back in the engine. New cylinders in there. Uh, we couldn't quite figure out what the other one was. Uh, the problem with the other one is it was either the exhaust valve or the crack in the cylinder. Probably both. Uh, it was a good thing. But now we have a brand new cylinder in there all rebuilt. So this is all back together. Uh, one of the last things to do today is we have to take care of this dead attitude indicator over here. And we're going to pull that out and we're going to replace it with this guy. There he is. This is a uh, RC Allen Mini 6. Replaces a whole six pack. Everything is in there. Altimeter, airspeed, attitude indicator, turn coordinator, and uh, uh, heading indicator. It's all there in that little unit. So we're going to see what that looks like. It's not, shouldn't be too bad. We've got a little electrical work, we've got a little plumbing. We've got to tee off of these lines, put it in there. We've got to replace a, replace a circuit breaker right here. It does make these two dials redundant. We really don't need the airspeed indicator or the altimeter here because it'll all be built into the center now. However, instead of looking at just two blank plates there, I'll probably just leave them in. So we're gonna get started on that and see if we can get that in. I'll give you a progress update in a little bit. All right, one old dinosaur removed. Spent 16 years in there. I did learn something though. Uh, you can actually see right, to, right here. Every slope or uh, every panel in, in every airplane has a slope to it. And you have to get a attitude indicator with a gyroscope that's calibrated to that slope. Otherwise it'll be inaccurate. The new electronic unit just has a setting. You go into settings, put the slope in, which in this case it says right there is 10 degrees and it accounts for that. But so if you're shopping for an indi uh, attitude indicator, you can go out on eBay or something, you see them all the time, but it could be a six degree or an eight degree. It's got to match your plane. Otherwise it won't be accurate. This one still works most of the time, but sometimes it's uh, it causes a problem. And like I said in the last video, you can't buy parts for these things anymore, so they can't overhaul it. Uh, a new one was $8,000. Overhauled one was $4,000 of the new model of this. And what I bought for the uh, RC Allen was uh, about $3,000. So clearly it's a, it's a better deal. All right, so that's out. All right, panel off. Three amp breaker comes out. We need to go in with a one amp breaker for the new device. So that's loose. And now, uh, all right, so you can see back here, this is our breaker that's coming out. It's got a bus bar that runs across the top that powers everything up. The actual load comes off the bottom there. So we gotta disconnect that, pull that breaker out, and pop a new one in for our new device. Oh shit, how? Am I gonna have to take all this whole bus bar out? How am I gonna get the breaker off of it? I think I gotta pull this whole top row out. What you got? That's hooked to this bar. Mm -hmm. It has to come out this way, right? To, to be pulled out. I think I gotta take this whole bar out in one chunk, put the new breaker on and stick the thing back in. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of gross, isn't it? But these, I mean, these aren't like, that's a full through, yeah. There's no way I'm going to pull that back out yeah, with that bar. Yeah, this is your anyway. bus, your power bus, right? Right. So, that's so I, either line, have, and then... I either have to take all that off, which I don't want to do, or I just take all these nuts off, pull it out one big chunk. You could do that too. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're going with. And, and that's actually a smart decision because you jump, you. risk the chance of, of dropping those washers. That's what I was looking at, that screw right there. If and, it goes down there, it's not going to be pleasant. Well, besides that, if you have a washer or a screw that gets stuck between these two, or from from this power bus and it's sitting against the frame, it's it'll fry good. everything. All right, this part is turning into way more time than I had anticipated. All right, old three amp breakers out. Brand new one amp breaker coming in. Line goes on that side, so that means that our load has to go on this side. Okay, we've hooked up our new one amp breaker right here. Jesse's green. I know I couldn't find a. A gray one. But we had to pull the whole 
row out because you can see they're all hooked up by this bus bar. So rather than take all these screws up, we just pull the whole row out and we'll put it back in and we'll have a new one amp breaker ready to go for our new device. Okay, so we've got our nipples on there to attach our, let's say, pedo goes there, static goes there. So our power, this is a backup battery. This thing will run an uh, hour, two, three, three hours maybe on uh, battery power if need be. Okay, so let's, uh, let's mount her up. All right, so now I've got the unit in. What we've got to do is uh, tap into the static line and the pedo line feed those into here, change our pins on our power connector, and we should be good to go. All right, I think that'll work. Okay, so next thing is we have to get the pin out on the cord to match the new device. All right, so we brought in reinforcements for the wiring. Pedo and static are hooked up, units in. Now the surgeon's here to wire. Breaker in, get the wiring done. Get the pedo static hooked up. Got the power soldered over there. We are perilously close to firing this puppy up. All right, powered up. Everything seems to be working. It's a nice bright screen. I have to go through and set some uh, different configuration settings on it, and then I'll have to calibrate it in flight. But it seems to be working. It seems to be kind of jiving with what the G1000 is saying. So it's actually a lot brighter than the G1000. So, so far, so good. We'll uh, maybe do a little report on it down the road after I've had time to set it all up and uh, get everything going right.